Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a very special antenna for FPV and we are talking about the O spiral antenna. This is the spiral antenna and its history is dated back to a long time ago and what a spiral antenna does best is the wide band that it has. Basically, this one here is a UWB ultra wide band antenna and it supports 3 GHz up to 6.5 gigahertz this means that you can use it for 3.4 gigahertz FPV or 5.8 gigahertz FPV here I'm going to compare it with the 5.8 gigahertz Pagoda antenna and I'm going to take some measurement with the SWR meter to see what is the difference between the two antennas in terms of VSWR so let me power on the SWR first with the Pagoda. I'm doing a scan right now. The green line in the graph shows the VSWR and that is really good. It's almost close to 1.0 which means that there's no loss and the center frequency is right there. It's a U shape as you can see. So it's about 1.02 right in the middle for the Pagoda antenna which is really good. Now let's take a look at this UWB ultra wide band antenna. Okay, we can see a nice frequency response all across which is really good. Yep, and VSWR according to the meter is actually 1.0. Well, this is a hobby SWR meter, so do not take the values too seriously. But with reference to the reading that we've got earlier from the Pagoda, we could see that this antenna actually is pretty tuned for 5.8 GHz. So we could use it for FPV. The other interesting part about this antenna is that if I position it like so, it's an omnidirectional antenna. And I could use it as a directional antenna if I flip it to the side. I'll show you the radiation patterns of the Pagoda antenna and the UWB spiral antenna so that you could tell the difference in terms of radiation pattern and in terms of gain. And by the way, this Spira antenna is from Deep Ace. It's a company that manufactures um, low-cost VNA. A VNA stands for Vector Network Analyzer. So it's a higher-end version of the SWR meter. It's about $2,000 or so for the one that can measure up to 6 GHz. But enough talking, let's go to the field to test it out. It's a nice weather today at the field. I'm going to fly through these trees here right over there and the first part will be done using the Pagoda antenna on my video goggles the test quadcopter will be this it's a 145mm micro quadcopter circular polarized antenna to match the Pagoda let me hit the record button
All right, here's the second flight test using the spiral antenna. I'm gonna hit record once again. Now that was a quick test of FPV flight using the spiral antenna versus the Pagoda antenna on my receiver. In terms of performance, both are pretty similar, although on paper, the spiral antenna has a higher gain of 3.5 dB. The Pagoda antenna's gain is about 2 dB, I believe. Another thing I'd like to point out is I'm using a DVR to record the video just now. And this DVR is powered by a voltage regulator to step down the 2S LiPo pack to 5 volts. Due to the noise of the regulator, we are seeing diagonal lines in the video. And when using the spiral antenna, the diagonal lines seem to be more prominent. I think it's due to the ultra-wide band property of the antenna. Well, those diagonal lines in the video have nothing to do with the gain of the receiving antenna. I'm pretty sure they are coming from the noise of the voltage regulator used to power my DVR. But I thought it's worth mentioning this to you in case you are using some kind of a voltage regulator on your receiving ground station. Alright, that's all I have for this video. I hope you learned something about the spiral antenna here which could be used for FPV. Give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. Thank you for watching as always. Subscribe and I will see you in the next video.